Have you ever wondered what lurks in the shadows when you're alone at night? A shiver down your spine, a prickling on your neck, the fear that grips you, that's what we're delving into today. Welcome to a world where the ordinary and the extraordinary coexist, where the line between reality and the supernatural is blurred. Everyone loves a good scare, don't they? The kind that sends chills down your spine and leaves you checking under your bed at night. It's the thrill, the adrenaline, the rush that comes from the unknown, the unseen, that makes a story truly terrifying. It's our human fascination with the unknown, with the what-ifs and the maybes that draws us to the supernatural. So prepare yourself. We're about to journey into the unknown, a world filled with chilling tales and haunting specters. A world where reality is often scarier than fiction. Prepare yourself to journey into the unknown, where the line between reality and the supernatural becomes blurred. Our first story takes us to Poveglia, Italy, a small island with a dark past. Nestled in the Venetian lagoon, Poveglia's tale is not for the faint-hearted. This island, though small, holds a history steeped in death and despair. Poveglia's story begins in the 14th century, during the bubonic plague outbreak. The island became a quarantine station, a place where the infected were sent to die. Thousands of plague victims took their last breaths here, their bodies piled high in mass graves, their spirits forever bound to the island. But the island's tragic history doesn't end there. Fast forward to the 20th century, Poveglia was repurposed into a mental asylum, a home for the forgotten society. Here patients were subjected to inhumane treatments, their cries of agony echoing through the cold stone walls. The most chilling part of this tale lies with the deranged doctor who, legend has it, performed brutal experiments on his patients, only to meet a grisly end himself. Over time the asylum was abandoned, and Poviglia was left deserted, a spectral island of silence. Yet those who've dared to visit have reported eerie experiences. Whispers in the wind, screams in the silence, shadows that move in the corner of their eyes. Some claim to have seen the ghost of the deranged doctor wandering the island as if trapped in his own personal purgatory. The most disturbing accounts, however, are those of the phantom cries. The tormented wails of the plague victims and the insane, their spirits seemingly trapped in an endless cycle of pain and despair. These stories lend themselves to the belief that Poveglia is teeming with restless souls, making it one of the most haunted places on earth. Many who've dared to visit Poveglia claim to have heard the echoes of the tormented souls that once inhabited the island. And so, the tale of Poveglia continues, an eerie testament to the island's sorrowful past, forever shrouded in mystery and dread. From Italy, we travel to the heart of London, to the eerie grounds of Highgate Cemetery. Highgate Cemetery, a Victorian burial ground, is a place where beauty and terror intertwine, where the whispers of the past echo off ornate tombstones and twisted yew trees. Its atmospheric allure is undeniable, but beneath the surface, the tales that lurk are far from comforting. Now prepare yourself as we delve into the haunting history of Highgate, a place where the living and dead have been known to cross paths and where the infamous Highgate vampire is said to dwell. This spectral entity, described as a tall, dark figure with piercing eyes, has been sighted countless times, instilling fear and dread in those who encounter it. The most alarming incident occurred in the late 20th century, when two self-proclaimed vampire hunters, armed with stakes and crucifixes, locked in a fierce duel. Their goal? To vanquish the Highgate vampire. The outcome of their confrontation remains shrouded in mystery but the chilling tale of their face-off has become a part of Highgate's eerie lore. Highgate Cemetery is not just a resting place for the deceased, but a playground for the paranormal. Visitors and locals alike have reported unexplained incidents, from chilling whispers in their ears to sudden drops in temperature. Some even claim to have seen ghostly apparitions wandering among the tombstones, lost souls unable to find peace. But perhaps the most unsettling aspect of Highgate is the uncanny feeling of being watched. Many a brave soul has ventured into its grounds, only to be greeted by an unseen presence, a feeling of dread that lingers long after they've left the cemetery's iron gates. The stories of Highgate Cemetery serve as a chilling reminder that sometimes, the most haunting tales are those that are left untold, the ones that lurk in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves. 
As night falls on Highgate Cemetery, the living retreat and the dead claim their dominion. Our final story takes us to a place steeped in blood and treachery, the Tower of London. This historical fortress, a palace and prison all rolled into one, has borne witness to countless tales of despair, betrayal, and death. It's no wonder then, that it's considered one of the most haunted places in all of Britain. Among the many spirits said to roam its stony halls, one of the most famous is the ill-fated Anne Boleyn. The second wife of Henry VIII, Anne met her untimely end at the tower scaffold, falsely accused of adultery and treason. Her ghost, headless, is often sighted in the tower's chapel and near the spot of her execution. Visitors have reported a chill in the air, a sense of dread, and even the spectral vision of a woman with a pearl necklace, minus her head. But Anne Boleyn is not alone. The tower has been the setting for many a gruesome act. There's the tragic tale of the princes in the tower, young Edward and Richard, who were supposedly murdered by their ambitious uncle. Their childlike apparitions have been seen, huddled together in fear, in the White Tower. Then there's the White Lady of the White Tower, who wafts about leaving a trail of sweet perfume, and the ghost of Sir Walter Raleigh held captive in the bloody tower for 13 years, who is still said to wander there. The Tower of London is a nexus of spectral activity, a place where the past and present seem to intertwine. Some say it's the weight of history, the echo of countless lives lived and lost within its walls. Others believe the tower is a beacon for lost souls, a place where the dead find a voice. In the silent corridors of the tower, the past refuses to rest. Each stone, each room, each chilling breeze carries a tale of another era, a whisper of a life lived long ago. And as night falls, who knows what apparitions may stir in the shadows, forever trapped within the tower's ancient walls. As our journey into the realm of the supernatural comes to an end, one question remains. Have these stories stirred the embers of your imagination, or have they sent chills cascading down your spine? From the eerie echoes of Poveglia's past, to the spectral residence of Highgate Cemetery, and the phantoms that linger in the Tower of London, We've traversed the thin line that separates our world from the one that lies just out of sight. These tales, chilling as they are, compel us to question the nature of reality itself. Are they merely the products of overactive imaginations, or could they offer us a peek into the mysteries that lie beyond our comprehension? Are these stories mere fables, or could they be chilling glimpses into the world beyond our understanding? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share these tales with your friends. Until next time, remember, not everything that goes bump in the night is just the wind.